What's up, Ozones? Welcome to the Ozone, and welcome to another FNAF video. God, this sunlight is really aching me. <laughs> uh, I am so sorry if it's affecting the video in some way. Actually, I think it probably is. So today we are actually getting into another graphic novel video, but this is gonna be a little bit different because I have no news for you whatsoever, okay? No news. <laughs> uh, I just wanna talk about the graphic novels and specifically the artists, because I don't think that the artists of the graphic novels and the writers of the books, I don't think they get enough credit, honestly. And I really wanna talk about them because they're very talented, like extremely talented. I could never do anything like this. And I just, I don't know, I, I, wanna, I wanna explore what's going on in the world. <laughs> and I hope that you'll join me on this kind of journey as well in this video in learning who these artists are because it's quite fascinating, honestly. And we have, we have these graphic novels in good hands, let me tell you that. So before we get into who these artists are, I actually have a few things that I need to say. <laughs> um, first of all, don't send hate to these artists. They have been hired to do what they do, which is make art for these graphic novel versions of the Phasma Frights. And this is what they've been able to do given the information provided with, you know, the, tr the time restraints. They've probably had a lot of pressure on their shoulders and I expect they were probably severely underpaid, honestly. Um, there's no doubt in my mind that they are all talented though. And part of the reason I'm making this video is because I think a lot of people are really, really critical on the art that we've seen. And I'm, I've seen a lot of hate going around around because of it and especially hate directly towards the artist which is horrible that's terrible and secondly the other day I got a comment from one of the artists Anthony Morris Jr which is insane it hit me that I would love to talk to any of you artists so if any of you are watching this somehow uh, then hit me up <laughs> We can have a chat or an interview about your experiences and you know your life and talent and stuff. Um, so yeah, check the description if you're one of the artists, or you know send this video to the artists of uh, of the graphic novels. There we go. Anyway, we should just get straight into this. Obviously, we've had two leaked or not leaked, but we we know that there's two graphic novels already. We've been shown the covers and it credits all of the artists and the writers uh, there. So first of all, we have Scott Cawthon, the creator of Five Nights at Freddy's, of course. Uh, if you know Five Nights at Freddy's, you probably know Scott Cawthon, let's be honest. And then we have Carly Ann West, co-author of The Phasma Frights. She wrote the stories Fetch and Out of Stock, which means that she is credited for both the first and the second graphic novels because Out of Stock is weirdly in the first book. Uh, so yeah, that, that's kind of weird. And then we have Ellie Cooper, which you've probably heard about a lot because she is another co-author of The Phasma Frights. She made freaking 12, 12 of the stories, if I have counted that correctly. That includes To Be Beautiful in the graphic novel one, but none of the stories in the second graphic novel. Uh, and now we're moving on to the illustrators. So, Didi Esmeralda, uh, illustrator for Into the Pit and Fetch, which means she is in both of the um, of the books. She has 34,000 followers on DeviantArt and creates freelance pieces like this, including <laughs> exclusive 18 plus artwork. It's kind of weird that she's working on a FNAF project, but uh, looking at her portfolio, she's really talented. So <laughs> I'm hoping that that kind of comes out in the in these graphic novels. Um, you know, I have high hopes, even though the graphic novels seem to be in like a completely different style to what she has presented on her DeviantArt and her other websites showing her art. Uh, but the talent really shines there. And I am really excited to see where, you know, how this is gonna go. It's Into the Pit and Fetch. Those are very like classic nostalgic stories. So I hope that she does them right. Uh, and I have high hopes for that. And then we have Anthony Morris Jr. Or Anthony Morris Jr. I actually don't know which one it is. I'm so sorry. So this is the illustrator for To Be Beautiful and Room For One More, two of my favorite stories, uh, both in the first two graphic novels. Um, so he is a game developer, an illustrator and animator who has almost 50,000 followers on TikTok. Uh, 
and his artwork is more along the lines of cartoony than the last one, comic comic book kind of vibes. Uh, on November 30th last year, I laughed because he said, I'm part of FNAF, y'all! <laughs> Which made me laugh, but um, he's also got some really cool Security Breach fan art. I thought that was sick. Um, you know, given the detail of the artwork that I've seen online, I think I'm going to be so impressed with these stories. And, you know, these stories need detail uh, because they are gory, they are weird, uh, you know, they mess with your mind. I think a lot of detail would be so cool. Um, so I am glad that Anthony Morris Jr. is taking these two. And then we have Andy Santagata. Santagata? That's Italian, I think. This is the illustrator for Out of Stock, which is the only story out of the six confirmed that we haven't seen a preview for yet. Uh, I've never actually been a massive fan of Out of Stock as a story, but I looked over his art and oh my gosh, it really excites me. <laughs> his art feels really rough, but in like, in, in a good way. Not rough as in like, you just did it in two minutes, like, nice rough. And there's always like so much colour and expression, which is exactly what I'm going for. Uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to be blown away by this art. And then of course we move on to the second graphic novel, and we have two more names. We have Andrea Wagner, uh, who is another co-author of the Fazbear Frights, as you may know. Uh, she wrote the stories Room for One More and The New Kid, both of which are in the second volume only and not the first. Um, and then, finally, we have Corin McPherson, I'm so sorry if I'm saying your name wrong, who is the illustrator for The New Kid. Uh, so she is a student, a student, who, uh, who makes sensational comic book drawings like this. This is so cool. If any of the artists really, like, fit the vibe for the graphic novels, it is this one. I've looked at, like, all the Marvel artwork, uh, it, it genuinely just looks like it came straight from the comics. I'm so impressed. We already, of course, have a preview page of the new kid, and I actually really like where it was heading, but looking on the internet, people actually dislike it. I've seen a lot of hate for the animatronic designs, specifically. Um, but, here's the thing. I also read a tweet from her saying that it was one of the hardest scenes to translate, and so it sounds to me like the artists um, of these comics were just kind of like told what to draw, they didn't like fully read the story themselves. And and that's not their fault of course. As I said before, they're, they're literally just being paid to draw a prompt uh, and then drawing it and then that's what, what we're given, you know. And in this case also, we have a full-time student who genuinely had to complete all of this during school hours. So people all over the internet are saying, you know, it's completely rushed. That's probably because it was. And given the circumstances, I think that all of the artists, actually, have done fantastic jobs at, you know, using their art skills to portray the scenes in the original books. Um, and as Corin said herself, we also just need to give these books a chance because at the moment we've only seen like one of almost each story, or one page of almost each story, uh, and you know, I'm sure that the full graphic novels are going to be excellent quality. Um, I, I think that the um, the original trilogy graphic no graphic novels were pretty good. They were a little bit inaccurate, but you're going to get that because of course they probably don't read the actual book itself. They're just given um, given prompts to work with. Um, but yeah, that's all of the artist. I'm actually a little bit upset that, you know, the community is somewhat upset with these because I think that they look great and I think they match, like, the, the designs pretty well. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm just sick of seeing people online, like, throwing hate at the artist. Like, they are so talented um, and, you know, I, I love what they're doing. <sighs> it's just... It's mainly Twitter. I hate Twitter. Get me off of Twitter. But hey, if you want to follow me on Twitter, link in the description. If you want to follow me on YouTube, or subscribe as some people call it, uh, make sure that you do that as well. You can see some FNAF news videos, you can see some theory videos, and of course, I'll be reading the graphic novels and Tales from the Pizzaplex books when they come out on YouTube. So uh, yeah, make sure you subscribe for that. But I've been Ozone, and I have to go Zone, so I'll see you later. Goodbye.